right, it's Throwback Thursday, where I play a game that I've already reviewed. And this week I'm going to be doing a request from Boris the Antichrist, who asked me to play Mega Man 2. And I've done Mega Man 1 uh, earlier. So, I guess I'll be doing the whole, like, the pattern, the same thing I do with my reviews and the ranking of the soundtracks, where I'll do a series in order. Um, you know, eventually I'll get to 3 and 4 and so on. <clears throat> this one, a lot of people, you know, it, it's like the quintessential, uh, not the quintessential, but the kind of the, you know, it's the, it's the common pick for the best Mega Man of all time, and or at least people's favorites, as far as the classic series goes. Um, and it's one of my favorite games ever, and a lot of people that watch the channel know that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do the difficult, uh, mode. I, I, I toss in between them both, uh, depending on my mood. But I tend to lean toward difficult more often than not. Um, just because it's the... It, it's the, the version that the game was meant to be. So, I'm gonna start with Bubble Man, and... I mean, a lot of people like to go with Metal Man first, get the Metal Blade. But, um... I tend to start with, with Bubble Man. Particularly when I'm playing in the normal mode. When I'm playing normal mode, I go through my OCD order, which is the, um... I mentioned it at the end of the, my walkthrough of this game. Where I kind of just pick them in order on the uh, as they as they're listed. See, this is an example right here of how the uh, you know the normal mode basically renders these uh, these horseshoe crabs as un uh, just like a plain old ass. It could have been any sprite. Because the shell does not come off in the normal mode. I, s I say normal mode. This is really the normal mode. It's the normal should have been referred to as easy. And because this is the normal mode, this is the mode that the game was was originally made to be. So it should that this is what should have been normal. But anyway, the shells don't come off. So they they could have just had any enemy be that. Just put any sprite in the place of that crab, uh, and then one hit kills it, and that's the end of it. But, you know, having the shell come off of it gives it, and then have it speed up is what, you know, separates it from a generic enemy that just crawls across the screen and does nothing. And then there's a couple others, like the barrel guys later on. You know, they fall apart in the in the in this mode, but the uh, normal mode they don't. <laughs> those uh those little ships from earlier, I used to always refer to those as the Jetsons, uh, just because they resembled the the space cars that the Jetsons and all the uh, you know that's what people flew around to get from place to place as their regular means of transportation. And they look like those, so I just refer to them as that. Just a little, uh... Whoops. Jumped a little too high that time. So there we go. First death of the day is right away. Not right away, but first fucking level, so... And it was such a stupid spot to die. What the fuck was that? That's not a good omen. Like, I have a, f I have a feeling that... If that's a, you know, a sign of things to come, then... We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be in for some interesting shit here. I'm gonna probably die in spots I'm not supposed to die, like that one. Uh, and various other things will happen. Let's get the f it's, you know, that right there... I feel like that was... I feel like that was telling, but we'll see how it goes. So 
So I was introduced to Mega Man, the Mega Man series with Mega Man 2. It was at the time it was the most recent Mega Man, but it wasn't long. I think it was maybe like another... Like half a year later was when Mega Man 3 came out, but... When, um, there was... I was like seven or so, and this kid that I was at my judo club, he was older, he was probably like 15 or so. Um, he let me borrow this game, and, you know, that was it, I never looked back from there. So they have it first, the robot down. <clears throat> Seven to go. Freaking bubble head. Not a great weapon, but it does, um, it is useful in a lot of spots. I know that, you know, it, it, it's... I'm not saying anything that hasn't been said before. Ugh. Fuck it. Um, but yeah, it's... It's a hell of a soundtrack. It might have been the first soundtrack, uh, video game soundtrack that I... I don't know why I didn't just kill those guys with the bubble head. It's... That would have been effective. Um, when I first became like acutely aware of the video game soundtracks, like I was, I mean, of course I was aware of soundtracks, but it was like this was the first game that I think that I played where I was particularly invested in the soundtrack. Let's put it that way. I didn't like my chances, but I was hoping that, that uh, I'd be able to kill that Sniper Joe before um, that health capsule disappeared. Oh well. So yeah, Bubble Lead, it sucks that it just rolls across the floor like that, but, and, you know, there's a lot of shit it doesn't work on, but it works on, uh, I mean, it's not even Flashman's main weakness, but it works, and, um, helps me get to Quick Man quicker, I'll get through Quick Man quicker, so, uh, you know, so that I can get to the, uh, so that I can get to Metal Man after that. One thing about this game is the, the scrolling is slow. That's just such a minor gripe, though. Alright. On to Quick Man. I found it tough to rank this soundtrack. It was... I mean, I know it was only the... I think it was the second video I did of the series, but... 
Uh... So it wasn't like I had a lot to compare it to as far as like how difficult it was, but you know, after doing some more after that, after the fact, yeah, that one was... <clears throat> that one was tough. That one in Sonic 2, it's funny, you know, the, it's always the second games in a series. Those have been the toughest ones for me to rank. Not so much, like, because... I mean, not just that they're great soundtracks, but I feel like the, um... It's tough to differentiate the... It's not like there's obvious ones and twos and, uh... Uh, even the, you know, the middle of the section, the whole thing, like, top to bottom, it's like, okay, where do I start from? Like, what's the... Which one's the worst? It was, it was hard to even get there. Although, the, you know, like... I'll even say that it wasn't, I wasn't totally, uh... It wasn't an obvious choice for me to even pick Wily Castle, uh, Stage 1. Spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't watched the video. Um, yeah, Wily Stage 1 was, was the one I picked at number 1. Um... And, you know, I was... It wasn't so obvious to me that that was going to be my number one pick. <clears throat> because, at the end of the day, it's, um... Uh, you know, it's like, it, it's... Well, first off, it's a little bit overplayed. Like, over-covered, over-exposed, blah, 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 blah. Oh, shit, man, I got fucking nailed. Fuck, I'm gonna have to use a tank. Uh, I did not want to do that. Did not want to have to do that, but I came in with... I should have known, I should have looked at my health status. I didn't have, you know... I, mean, I wasn't low on health, but... I should have looked at it and said, ah, just, just let me... I'll go through one death and then come back with full health and then take him on. But whatever, there are other tanks to get. Anyway, going back to what I was saying before, uh, Wily Stage 1 and 2 wasn't so obvious of a pick for me. Um, I feel like the difference between... Everybody loves it, but, uh... Like, I didn't... It wasn't so much that it was, that it was overplayed. The overplayed factor definitely kind of takes away some of the... Takes a little bit away from it, I guess, but... I try not to let that affect my opinion, you know, for better or worse. But this was a top one, too. This one was... This was one of the ones I was tempted to, to pick over Wily. I wish I had the Metal Blade right now. I mean, you always wish you had the Metal Blade because it's, you know, the most overpowered weapon in the fucking history of the franchise. But, you know, the Metal Blade works wonders on those guys, and the thing is, you can't, can't get that weapon until you beat this stage. So, you know, you can use them later uh, in Wily Castle, but... Not right now. Oh well. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. Ah, shit. <laughs> I know that there's a tank down here. I fucking never can get that lined up right. Oh, I did then. Um, there's an E tank down here. I, I can't 
get without killing myself. I'd have to... I, I don't have the item that will, uh... You know, the item 2 from Air Man. But there are more... Fuck! Ugh. You know, if I'm just gonna die, might as well get the fucking tank, right? Ugh. You know, I know there are... Uh, uh, Oh, I got the lives here. I got I got plenty of lives, but I know that I got there are other tanks. You know there are other tanks to be had, and I'll you know it's not there's not like there's just four tanks in the whole game. So I feel like I feel like I can you know I, there's no need for me to get that tank. I told you. I told you when I hit those spikes in Bubble Man stage that I was gonna fuck up. I was gonna fuck up in spots like that. It's just like a silly, silly way to die, you know? I mean, it's like one thing to just like, get straight up beat. Get beat by, uh, you know, by a robot or something. No, I fucking <laughs> slipped off the edge. Well, I was about to jump, like an idiot. <clears throat> and then jumping up into the spikes. Like, I don't know if I've ever died from those spikes before. Until today. You know, that's a first. I've definitely died on that pit before in my life, but, uh... But, uh, those spikes in Bubble Man stage on the ceiling? By that frog? I don't recall dying on those spikes. In that particular spot. So hey, it was a first. And I've died in some some. I've, I've done plenty of uh, of dying like that before in my history. I've done plenty of dying like that right here on this channel. like a rush prototype, I guess. These hot dogs. I think this is one of those instances where Dr. Light actually ripped off Dr. Wily. I don't know, maybe... Maybe when, uh, after Mega Man kills... All these robots, uh... He takes all their parts and then Light does stuff with them, recycles them, refurbishes, and then end up with shit like a hot dog becoming Rush. Now it's daylight. It was clearly night when... When we were out at the, uh, at the beginning of the stage. You see monkey do, monkey die. I remember Woodman and Albert back to nighttime again. 
Remember, Woodman was the first boss that I made it to. I did not kill him uh, on the first go. God, who was the first boss that I took down? It might have been Bubble Man. I want to say it's Bubble Man, because... <clears throat> I, I, I know I didn't make it to Bubble Man the first time I played uh, the game. But I know it was the first one I picked. Because I do the whole, you know... That was my OCD. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was a little worried about that one. Whenever I make mistakes like that, facing the opposite direction, etc., you know, I'm, I, I, especially today, you know, when I'm, when I'm, I'm doing shit weird here. I don't know. I mean, things are weird today. <clears throat> All right, let's go to Airman now. I remember the manual for Mega Man 2 had a walkthrough of this stage in the manual. It was weird. And what made them pick Airman? You know, there was, uh, there have been plenty of times where I jumped and estimated where this cloud platform was going to be through the clouds. Um, you know, I'm just jumping blindly into the, where I had, uh, estimated the, the platform to be. And so often, I don't know how it became the case, but like so many times I played it, and uh, so many times I tried to, you know, land on that platform, and I wish that I, I wish I had done it just now to kind of like give you a better visual of what I'm talking about here, but so many times I, I end up, when I do that, I land with like just my foot on the edge of the platform, like I'm not even going to do it, I'm not even going to stand on the edge here. I know I'll die. That'll be what happens. I've already died enough weird ways today. What's another? Where the hell did Airman's cousin go? There he is. There was... I think that I... I, uh, I glitched him off the screen on one of those. Oh, shit. All right. I thought I was gonna get knocked off into the abyss. It really felt like it. I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid today about... Based on the way shit went down, the way it shit started, I'm like, I'm, I, I've, I've jinxed myself and it's, it's gonna... I'm gonna pay the price at some point. Ah. Come on, that's bullshit. I was right there. Oh, you... Fucker. There were a couple of those that were bullshit. Like, I... There was no reason for that not to have hit. And the tornadoes continue to spin. Oh, I lucked out on that one. I was not... Optimistic, uh, that, 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 that getting toward the end there, and that, and that's one of the ways for shit to go wrong. You know, it's like I, when you come in with a uh, expecting you to, you expect yourself to fail, or you expect yourself to hit snags, and sometimes you will yourself into wrong, into a, into a problem or into an obstacle on your own. You know, if I believe myself that I've been jinxed. 
today, and I'm gonna have all kinds of weird deaths and have a rough go at this. And that's what'll happen, just based on myself willing it to happen, despite the fact that I don't want it to. Alright, here's a question. So, assuming that this is, you know, that this is real life and everything, you know, the Skull Fortress, the Skull Castle is obviously, you know, it's, it's the the building that Wily created as his fortress, as his main hub. What are all these places that the Robot Masters are occupying? Like, I could see something like, with Metal Man, maybe, he, you know, he took over a factory. He just, they just... Either an abandoned one and they got it back up and running again, or they took over an, an existing one that was active, whatever the case may be. I could get behind, you know, what Metal, like metal Man's being a, uh, you know, his his lair, his level is, is a factory, for example. But what the hell is this place? Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. I, mm, any of the uh, useful, you know, items in this case, item one would be the one to go with. So, like, you know, skip over what I just fucked up on. Gotta wait this whole thing out now. And like, you know, what is this? Is, the, is this little moving platform thing just like a, I don't know, I guess like an ops, uh, like a, like a ride? Like a ride for Crash Man and his cronies? If you can come up with an example of what this place is and what other Robot Master stages are, you know, supposed to be, feel free to post uh, your thoughts. Come on. There you go, you go to hell and you die. Ugh! Extra life went right down the fucking hatch. Alright, I wonder why they were dropping that one down. Alright. That happens sometimes, it's weird. I don't know what triggers that. Triggers the, them to drop that, uh, you know, not where they want to. That's a wrap. At least for Crash Man it is. And we'll be down to one more.
Good old Heat Man. Fucking lazy eyed Heat Man. there. See, that's that right there, I would've been dead if this was Mega Man 1. Because you do not get recovery time on spikes or pit, uh, like, any kind of instant death, uh, sprite, like a, you know, flame, or spikes, or whatever. If you get hit and you fall into it, you don't get, you know, if you're in the middle of your invincibility recovery time, it doesn't matter. So, hey, you know, I'll take it. Fourth time I failed at that. You know what? I don't really do this too much. I, for some reason, I don't find myself breaking these walls. I don't know why. I just tend to usually go just go up the regular way, but why not, right? Well, you know, when in Rome. realize I could have got that extra life and then taken the item to the rest of the way but I got tunnel vision I just I was like I just gotta get all the way across watch that be a life that I'll uh, I wish that I had right, where, do I have, where am I at right now all right the dust and that takes care of the eight robot masters moving on to the skull castle right after we get equipped with uh, atomic fire and item one so while we're in wait um i've just this past weekend, completed uh, Boardwalk Empire. It it was uh, it's an older show. It was 2010 when it came out and uh, lasted five seasons. I thought it was a good show. I liked it a lot. 
I was warned about the last season. A coworker of mine told me, like, yeah, the last season sucks. I disagreed. I thought it was fine. It was, it was probably my least favorite season, but um, I, I feel like it didn't jump the shark, and I feel like it uh, It was one of the few shows, not, not one of the few shows, but one of the shows that, um, you know, ended when they should have ended it. You know, a lot of times they'll overstay their welcome. A lot of shows will overstay their, overstay their welcome. This was not one of those uh, cases. All right, so here it is, the song that, uh, I think this was the, I think this is where, how I discovered Smooth McGroove was through his cover of this. And yeah, I mean, the song is overplayed, it's overcovered, it's on YouTube and overcover, you know, it's frequently cited as you know, one of the great pieces of NES music, and rightfully so, it is. But there's like a, I don't know, there's something about that that, you know, you hear it enough times, you don't need to hear it ever again. I don't know why I wasn't using the Metal Blade, I could have saved myself a lot of bubble wet in that, uh, in that whole thing. Ah, you know what, I'll, I'll give myself some extra bubble here. There's not going to be a lot of ca uh, instances where I'll need bubble the rest of the way, but I know I will need it, and, you know, don't forget about the fact that when you are, uh, when you go from stage to stage in the Wily Castles, you you maintain your level of weapon energy throughout. Ugh, I think I'll go to item 3 first. There'll be refills later. Remember this spot right here, I don't know why it took me as long as it did for me to figure out that you just use item one. It was like one of those, ah, really moments. <clears throat> I was just like, what the fuck do I do here? And I don't know how long it took me, it wasn't the first day. But it was a lot longer than it should have been. But whatever, I was fucking seven. Oh no. No! You god damn it. Ugh. Shit like that was gonna happen. <sighs> oh, that really chaps my ass. Not that I just fell down the thing. The, the fact that I I won, but I lost. It was a it was a Rocky two moment, but it, you know we didn't both get get counted out. I uh, I mean not that that's what happened in Rocky two, but it was a you know double knockdown, whatever. 
he won by default because he's the fucking bad guy. Bullshit. This is an odd, you know, Mega Man boss. You don't ever see a boss like this where you're standing on three. We had wait wait we ha it's it's over an entire pit. And you have three tiny platforms to work with. This is, a, this is its own thing. Alright, not gonna happen this time. We slay the dragon. Whew. If something like that would have happened again, I would have cried. Not literally, but I would have made some weird fucking noises, I'm sure, as uh, in some kind of overreaction. Alright. Moving on. Second ladder. All right, now we're filled up on E tanks. Might have seem weird to fill up on item two. Don't you get the tank? I'll just get the life. Filled, right? Of tanks, I am. No sense in wasting the crash bombs. No, I'm gonna need that later. I'm gonna stick around a little bit. Alright, here's some. There we go. I know I used up you know, a decent chunk of metal blades, but I think I got enough. Ah, shit! It's not what I want. It's, uh... I meant to f <laughs> to activate that once. Well, whatever. I'll get. I'll fill up over here. Down to the like the last couple of metal blades, but um, I mean, I'll have to I'll have to stock up on those for sure with um, this now this upcoming level. I need them uh, in those because uh, I'm gonna farm up here on on uh, oh no not this level the one after is one of the one I'm gonna need the uh, metal blades for. I'm like already I'm pontificating the dreaded 
um, level with the. I'm gonna have to restock up on crash bombs. Get a little recharge here. Alright, now the question's gonna be what? Oh, mother fuck! I'm using up so much of my item here. Alright, I was trying to, like, pause the game in mid jump so I could. Alright, Metal Blade, obviously. Probably should get some. Well, I'll go for the metal because uh, if I if I want to recharge on other weapons, I'll um. You know I'm gonna want the metal blade to do that with later on when on the next stage. I'm gonna have to do that with the crash bombs. I already know that. I know there's a way to beat that boss, the, the the boss in the next stage, without having to die, and then come back and reef stock up on your crash bombs, but I can never get it right. So I'm fully expecting to go do the, you know, farm up on, on the damn bombs. <clears throat> Which is the least fun part of the game that stage and having to go through it, uh, you know, and farm up. And the farming area sucks, because it's like the, the the capsules sometimes just fall down the chute. And the, or they don't, you know, they're not grabbable because of that gap thing. It's, it's really annoying. That's it for Guts Dozer. Alright, here it is. The least fun level of the game. Not looking forward to this. It, well, it's not just the... Um, that to, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get other weapons too I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to use my blade these floors that's that was the other thing besides you know the the whole having to go through the boss twice deal is these floors that have the illusion. Oh, uh, see, again, I thought it was going to be up uh, a little bit earlier. Um, first time I played this, it was like a lot of trial and error figuring out where the hell I could stand. Where I could jump. But it wasn't until I don't even know how long after that... Because I, when I got to here, I was like, oh shit, I already know what I'm going to deal with. I, you know, just was at that similar thing in the last screen. Like, why didn't I do this? I spent, you know, I countless tries going through, what the fuck happened? Uh, alright. Um. And, I, I'm filled with E-Tanks, right? Yeah. And it was like, it, that was another one of those moments where I just like face palmed myself. It definitely took me longer to figure that out than it did the item one deal. Oh wait, I'm gonna, because when I unpause, I'm gonna let go of the ladder. So I'm gonna, just gonna come up here, grab my metal blade in advance, and then come down. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna be when I, for a little while later when I... Need to come back for my uh, 
wasting my crash bombs. I'm filled with crash right now. No, I'm not. I'm gonna want to be, though. So, let me make sure I've got some. You know, I don't really need Metal Blade right now. I need him when I'm on the platforms and these things are in all different directions. And I was just right on the edge of death right there. I don't know if I can if I can reach this one. Damn it. See, that's this is why this area sucks. And that's why this whole part of the game sucks. And why it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be like this. See, look at that. One just went right down the ladder. That pisses me off. I'm doing this already, like this kind of sucks that. You know what, why am I bothering with this? I don't need all my crash bombs to take out the walls. I just want to take out the walls. And then I'll die with, I won't be at, I won't run out of crash bombs. I won't have to fill up as much later. So, you know, a couple of, you know, Of, uh, oh god. Alright, I'm doing this. I, 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 I didn't want to unpause and then fall. So I'm gonna, I'll just, I'll play it safe. Gotta wait that platform out again, but whatever. I think that, you know, I mentioned it in my ranking the soundtrack video, but I think that this stage and this whole, like, going back and, uh, you know, dying and coming back and then spending time just sitting there reloading up on Crash Bombs is the reason why people hate this song so much, or, or at least aren't a fan of it. And I can understand it, you know, it's like it's, it is a repetitious kind of song to begin with, plus you couple that with... The fact that it's on two different stages, and on the second one, you're, you're, uh, you know, you're, you're refilling these freaking crash bombs, and you're hearing this thing going on and on and on. I can see how you wouldn't want to deal with it. I'd be tired of it and ready for to hear something else. I thought I was going to summon another one of those things. I know that, uh... I've seen that happen. Alright, so uh, screw it. I'm not going to bother with... trying the whole item one thing. I'm just going to take out the walls. Take any chances, just give me the item one. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, I mean, I took out most of my crash bombs, but. Alright, so we'll have to come back. I remember the Game Genie, um, when you look up in the Game Genie booklet for the codes to this game, it gives you a warning that if you give yourself infinite energy, um, you know, you could be fucked. Because they didn't have infinite weapon energy as, uh, as a cheat in the book. So 
So here comes some boring farming shit. Alright, so I decided to farm up on all my weapons, um, not including the items, uh, mainly because in case I fuck up, in case I end up in a situation where I, um, I just, like, I run out of something, I don't want to be in that spot, so I figured, well, whatever, while I'm here, while I'm doing this bullshit, I'll just get myself stocked up. <clears throat> Especially with the whole, like, this whole jinx factor that wouldn't even be a thing if I didn't bring it up. Like, that's entirely psychosomatic. That matters. Oh no, oh, I knew it, I knew it, I fucking knew it. I had triggered another one. Let's not fuck this up. Ah. Fuck. Oh no, I think I got him though. Yes. All right. <laughs> I, I thought you know, I placed that bomb a little bit off to the uh, in the wrong spot, but it was close enough. Thing is, though, I there's um, the first form of Wily is susceptible to the crash bombs, and I'm not gonna have a ton of those to work with. So it is what it is. We'll have to. Uh, I jumped way too short on that at that time. Ugh, just getting... Thankfully, I don't need any more leaf shield. Thank <laughs> you. 
See how much air shooter do I have? I wanna probably should have done Crash Man first. Just to make sure I had enough uh Alright. That's plenty left. So I do like to use that as a secondary weapon on Quick Man. I remember when I first played this, I thought this was it. Just that 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 bar of energy right there, that was gonna be it. That's all that Wily has. I, I'm gonna fill up the right after. And then that would be the end of the game. So all I had to do was Like, oh shit, he's got another form? I didn't see that coming. You know, I, I hadn't played Mega Man 1, I didn't, I wasn't aware of, uh, you know, what Mega Man had, what Wily had in store for me. And I didn't see this coming either, a whole bonus level, which I wouldn't have been able to see coming even if I did play Mega Man 1 first, because that was not, uh, that was not par for the course just yet, and now it's you know, basically how it is all the way across the board. Very unique level. Complete silence. I think it's very effective. It's a very tense moment. Prior to this final battle. I, I paused. I stopped myself. I'm just gonna fuck it. I'm gonna use a tank. Man, do I have enough though? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep. I like this little uh, sequence right here with the... Uh... The only thing is, there's no uh, gate. Like, this is inaccurate. I, I, I went to walk through a gate. There should be a gate over there on the left. But that's just being over analytical. So I guess Mega Man just walks away from like while he begs him and he just says fuck it. I'm not gonna do anything. I I I I defeated him. I got nothing else I need to do, you know, it's But this decision to walk away right here would uh ultimately lead to Wily doing more damage and having to go back out and fight some more. Love this ending song. wanted to enjoy that for what it was. So there it is. That was Mega Man 2. You know, quite possibly my favorite game ever played. I mean, well, favorite game on the, on the Nintendo Entertainment System anyway. <clears throat> I don't know. It, it, I, I don't really have a favorite game, uh, but I will often cite this one as my favorite Nintendo game. My favorite classic, you know, old school game. Um... It's one of my favorite series. It's one of my favorite games in uh, throughout the series and and of all time for that matter. So, um, thanks for the request. If you have any requ other requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, just remember, it's a, it'll only be a game that I've reviewed in the past. Not, uh, I, I mean, you can request. If you've requested something that I haven't reviewed, I, I've seen some of those pop up now and again. I'm just basically taking that as a request to review the game. And then we'll go from there, down the road, whether or not I, uh, you know, I eventually will tackle it or not. Um, we'll see. We'll see what the future of this whole thing has to offer. Um, that's just about it. Um, I'll see you next week.